So today we're going to talk about, please don't take that child away from a good mother. I really respect every mother. I appreciate every mother. I give kudos to every mother in the whole wide world. We all are wonderful. We all are excellent. We all are incredible. We all are excellent. We all are beautiful, no matter the stretch mark we later receive after childbirth. No matter all the stress we have taken, we still look beautiful, awesome. Thank you so much to every mother on earth. All the mothers, I truly appreciate you. May Almighty God grant you long life for you to reap what you have sowed in your children. Amen. I have decided to present this topic to our people, everybody. I pray it will go far. I pray people will have take their time to listen to this message. Like I said, we are definitely going to talk to the organizations where in Europe, all over the world, that are collecting children away from mothers. No mother is a bad mother. I will come to that. You cannot take away a child after the child is born. You say because of one reason or the other. If the mother was to be a bad mother, she would have aborted this child. No, she took that pain and delivered this child. Took her time to breastfeed this child. Took her time to nurture this child. Now she is grown, you have come and you have collected the children. Most especially, maybe because we are black. Maybe because we are not capable like you are. Maybe because we don't have relative friends to, to assist us in taking care of our children. Maybe because of the difficulties we find in Europe you decide to collect children from their mother, their good mother. It is called good enough mother. A good enough mother was able to carry the pregnancy. She was good enough to carry the pregnancy. She was good enough to breastfeed that baby. She was good enough to nurture, to cry for that baby, to take enough stress for that child, to have sleepless night for that child. That is called a good enough mother. So if you are listening to me, all over the world, the organization Yogentam, I plead with you today, with so much pain in my heart, I say, please, do not take that child away from a good mother. Do not, because you are in power, do not take that child away from a good mother. Anywhere in this whole wide world, from Belgium, uh, uh, Germany, UK, Austria, Jogentam, organizations. Do not take that child away from a good mother. You can assist them. Do not always look for one reason and the other to make sure you take away the children, whereby you guys are not even making an attempt to take that pain. Because you know how painful it is to bring up a child, to conceive a child, to carry the pregnancy, to deliver the child. That is why most of the Europeans, they don't like to have plenty of children because they know how stressful it is to have so many children. And then now you guys are taking children from foreigners. Please, stop taking that children away from a good mother. That is one. I want to talk to our governors, our presidents. Me, I know they fear. That's why that I am here. I will definitely be visiting my home country. I am telling the truth. This is our platform, not the place where we talk the truth. If you talk, you die. If you don't talk, you go die. So let's just talk and die. I want to call on the governors, president, whosoever, because I know when they are electing for presidency, most of you guys go every way, any length, to make sure you use human sacrifice, to make sure you win, you kill a lot. You even send forth a lot of workers to just go and start killing. Nobody have the right to speak. That you have taken away our pride. You are taking away our existence. I am talking to the governor, the president of Nigeria. The followers, the workers of iniquity. I call them the workers of iniquity. That you have done that is good enough. Our family, 
in Africa, they have their reasons why they bring up a child, why they conceive so many children, of which in the nearest future, I am also going to bring out a topic from which I have just said. They have reason, maybe because of pension, maybe because of the, uh, when they grow old, those children are their pension, those children are their, their salary, those children are their joy, those children are their, their, their everything, their laughter, their happiness. With no hesitation, no fear, you collect person picking, you kill them. It is not done. That you are embezzling our money. I'm talking to every governor, every president, every ruler, the government house, every worker of them. Please, stop killing innocent people. They are somebody's child. They are somebody's sister. They are somebody's brother. Stop it. Enough is enough for the wise. End time is near. If you don't believe in her fire, when you die, you will not be able to come and testify. That is just where God is so incredible. Where he's so, he's so, you know, he leaves you to be doing your things. The end shall tell. Continue taking advantage of the less privileged. Continue taking advantage of the poor. Continue taking advantage of the hopeless, of the helpless. But the end will justify the miss. I am here to talk, talk to the people who are so self-centered, self -centered, greedy. Looking onto yourself alone without even looking at the mirror. The money ritualists. You not try. You not try. You said it is not well with you. You said that you are poor. You want to make money. You said, if I'm not rich, I die trying. That is what you said. You have brothers. You have sisters. Somebody is your mother. Somebody is your father. You go out there. You kill. You kill girls. You kill children. You sacrifice so much just because of blame, blame. Just because for people to say, oh, look at him. It is bad. You have taken that child away from a good mother. Now for the men, make sure you don't fight a woman and collect her kids from her. Don't take that child from a good mother. Don't take that child away from a good mother. Now these days what we see, good friends, we call ourselves good friends. You are backbiting. You are hating. You are destroying one's reputation. Condemning his, his, his or her image. One day, you poison her. The other time I was watching uh, Facebook and I saw a picture and a story about a young lady that traveled from Europe to Africa. Her old friend let her poison her. You have taken a child away from a good mother. You have done just that. It is not called for. It is not necessary. Because the pain a woman carry to bear a child and nurture this child until you have that privilege to kill, to destroy, I am begging you. Friends, if you do not want to keep Contact. You do not want to mingle with your old friend because you had disputes. You realize that there is no settlement. You can, you can forgive each other and yet have nothing to do with one another. You must not have to kill because it will benefit you nothing. Nothing is to benefit you when you cut another person's life short. You will get no profit, no, you will not get paid when you, when, 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 when you poison somebody and take that person away from this life. It is not called for. Now let me shock you. It's not only by killing, by death, say the person die, finish, you know, they breathe. 
Now, let's say the key. If you destroy my name, you say false witness against me, about me. You spread a fake, a, a fake rumor. You have killed my reputation. You have killed me indirectly. You have taken that child away as well from a mother. You make that person miserable. You make her ashamed. If I have a fight with you as a friend, and you go out there in the social media, you destroy me. You destroy my, my reputation. You say all sorts of things that are not truth. All because you are angry. You have taken that child away from a good mother. If you start to hate another woman's child, start to backbite, start to stab another woman's child, you have taken that child away from a good mother. You know why you should not kill, you should not destroy, you should not condemn, you should not judge, you should not hate, you should not use anybody for, as a sacri human uh, sacrifice. From taking that child away from a good mother. Why? Because that woman was good. There is no bad mother. In the sense that if she was bad, she wouldn't have conceived you at all, at all. If she was a bad mother, she wouldn't have allowed you to live to that extent. She wouldn't have trained her child to the extent that you had that privilege to become her friend or to become her boyfriend or to become her sister or for you to lay your hand on this particular child. When I say a child, I mean human being, a girl or whatever. I remain my mother's child forever. No matter my age, I remain my mother's child. 